Welcome, people. Wish it was under better terms, but uh, I'm here to report bad news. Don't shoot the messenger. This is a gem resonated leaf from climateviewer.com, and uh, we have a emergency alert on the RSO Edis. Okay, looks like it's been taken down already. Let's go ahead and pull that up here. Hazardous material in the USA on Wednesday, the 22nd of August, 2012. As a part of the biggest costliest environment cleanup project in the nation's history, disposing of 53 million gallons of radioactive waste at the Hanford Nuclear Reservation in Washington State, one thing had, was supposed to be sure. Waste stored in the sturdy double wall steel tanks that hold part of the toxic ooze wasn't going anywhere. But that reassurance has been thrown into question with the discovery of a three foot long piece of radioactive material between the inner and outer steel walls of one of the storage tanks, prompting new worries at the troubled cleanup site. We're taking it seriously, they say. Uh, yeah, they're taking it real seriously. Over the years, more than 1 million gallons of waste has leaked out of the 67 single wall tanks into the surrounding soil. The container in question, AY102, holds about 857,000 gallons of waste. And when they tried to move it previously, workers fell ill simply from inhaling the fumes. Um, the leak itself is described as a mound two feet by three feet by eight inches uh, between two walls. They used a camera in a, in a, from a different angle and supposedly noticed it just recently. So let's hop over to climateviewer.com and see exactly what this looks like. I'm going to load up all the RF stuff first. That's going to be next rads, BLF and uh, directed energy stuff. You may wonder why, but you'll know right after I get there. Lots of nuclear explosions, power plants, and the like. Climateviewer.com. So coming down to Hanford, you're going to notice that this is the Hanford Nuclear Reservation, the whole thing. There is two main facilities, Hanford 200 East and 200 West. This information is from Wikimapia. Check it out. Wikimapia is an awesome source. It's, I love it. And uh, there's several decommissioned nuclear reactors, including the first full-size nuclear reactor in the world, and the first built at the Hanford site. Kind of redundant. Also at the Hanford nuclear site is an operational nuclear power plant, the Columbia Generating Station, um, as well as the LIGO Hanford nuclear site laser interferometer gravitational wave observatory. And this is basically a laser beam fired down a very lengthy tunnel. Um, and they look for minute vibrations in the laser to find gravitational waves. I imagine that it's here because it's probably powered by the nuclear power plant. Uh, otherwise, who knows? So these two facilities are the ones in question. Um, they're run by the U.S. Ecology Inc. low-level radioactive waste disposal site and the environmental restoration disposal facility. One of these two is probably where our leak has occurred or multiple leaks have occurred. If you zoom in, you can see that there are containers. They put these lids on top of the containers after they put the nuclear magic in those bottles. Um, this nuclear waste never goes away, people. Millions of years, it'll still be radioactive. We'll have to shoot it into the sun to get rid of it. But anyway, that's our alert for today. And uh, just to remind everybody... Things are not well at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The waste is still growing. It used to be little. The problem has gotten much bigger. Do we really need all this nuclear Armageddon doom? poison on our planet.